proverbs can help us expand our multicultural repertoire. Through sharing proverbs, we can reinforce similarities and or differences of people and their culture. In this PowerPoint presentation, we will look at three sayings in Korean. Each of these tells us certain characteristics of Korean culture, society, as well as language, and ultimately will help us have a better understanding of Korea. The first saying is 손님은 왕이다, which literally means the customer is king. Many languages have the same or similar saying. Unlike many sayings or proverbs whose origin is not known, this saying was actually first introduced by Cesar Ritz, a Swiss hotelier and a co-founder of the Ritz Hotel in Paris and London. He used this sentence in its literal meaning because most of his customers were actually royal families, kings and queens. However, in today's market, this is used in metaphoric sense, which accentuates the importance of customers and promise of good service to customers in business industries. In other words, this saying dictates the kind of attitude service providers should have in modern marketing expectations, where the customers are expected to be treated with the utmost politeness and deference. Hence, the saying can be paraphrased to something like, customer is always right, or money is king. In Korean, this saying is of much interest as it provides a unique ramifications as it reflects both social and linguistic aspects of Korean culture and moreover it allows us to see an intrinsic relation between language, culture, and society. Let us first look at the social ramification. Korea is traditionally a hierarchical and collective society with a strict social stratification. In modern society, we no longer have the kind of social classes we used to have. However, the capitalistic society has made the customer a source of power differentials, leading to formation of an immediate hierarchical relation, along with social ranks, positions at work, and age, creating new kind of hierarchical relations. Because customer is socially higher, the customers have the feeling of superiority and they have a sense of entitlement that service has to be of their satisfaction. This entitlement can sometimes extend outside the service context. What is interesting is that Korean language allows this relation to be reflected linguistically, which brings us to the linguistic ramification. Korean is what is called a honorific language. What it means is that it has grammatically encoded expressions of honorifics and politeness. It has speech star particles that mandatorily occur in every sentence. The speech star particles mark the relation between the speaker and hearer. Hence, when talking to someone who is socially higher or older in a formal context, differential speech style is used. When talking to a person who is younger or equal, or close, such as a friend or a family member, half-talk speech style is used. Korean also has honorific marker on the verb for the subject who is socially higher or older from the speaker's perspective. Finally, there are honorific nouns, terms of address, and pronouns. Now, such honorific linguistic system yields two related linguistic phenomena. First is lowering of service providers. Though not very common, customers sometimes use half-talk speech style to service providers. Service providers, on the other hand, must always use either deferential or polite speech style. The hierarchy is also dictated by age, so when the customer is older, there is a greater chance for the use of half-talk speech style. The second linguistic phenomenon is raising of customer. The service providers must always use the most honorific expressions to the customers who are considered hierarchically of higher status. This pressure to provide the utmost politeness to the customers sometimes results in overgeneralization of honorific markers on even things that are not customarily marked with honorifics, such as the customer's coffee.
While the two linguistic phenomena just discussed are commonly witnessed, it is not without criticism. So lowering of service provider is criticized as rude, and the raising of customers' coffee as incorrect use of honorifics. But what is of interest to us here is the triggering source of these phenomena. They are triggered by the combination of the following factors, hierarchical social structure, honorific linguistic system, and marketing expectations in capitalist society, which puts a heavy emphasis on materialism. Recall that customer is king has the same meaning as money is king. Interestingly, in recent years, anti-customer king movement has emerged. So signs that say order in half talk respond in half talk. Or if you order in half talk speech style, you get only half of the drink are often spotted at service counters. The next proverb to look at is 모난 돌이 정 맞는다 which means a cornerstone meets the mason's chisel. This saying is similar to the English proverb, tall puppy gets cut down. The meaning of this proverb and the context it is used is don't stand out from others, do not draw attention to yourself, and teamwork is more important. Now, this saying is widely known, so almost everyone in Korea knows and uses this proverb, which is hard to say for the English proverb, a tall puppy gets cut down. This is because this proverb reflects the characteristics of Korea as a collectivist society. In Korea, group and organization is considered more important than an individual. And so group harmony and unity are highly emphasized. So one is likely to hear this more often in Korea than in the Western world with egalitarian society. The last proverb to introduce is 금강산도 식후경, which means even the sightseeing of the diamond mountain comes only after eating. This proverb shows how important Koreans consider eating. Of course, English also has proverbs such as a loaf of bread is better than a song of many birds or an army marches on its stomach, which means very similar to the Korean saying. However, this proverb carries more weight of reflecting the historical background of having had years of poverty during and after the Japanese annexation and Korean War. To Koreans, having food on the table is directly related to survival, and the importance of eating is reflected in many social and cultural customs. So Koreans use the expression, have you eaten, as a greeting expression, and companies have the social custom of having dinner together regularly and often. This company meal is called Heshi, and it is considered an extension of work, as usually there is pressure to attend. It reflects the importance of eating in Korea, and eating together is considered to foster group harmony and unity. In summary, the proverbs discussed in this PowerPoint presentation presented a number of cultural, social, and linguistic characteristics of Korea, and hopefully will result in more enhanced understanding of Korean culture and society.